person has such a beautiful voice. Those pipes. I wonder if we could meet her one day. <laughs> well, your wish is my command, well, darling. Well, well, well. Bing. <laughs> Our next guest is doing it all from Broadway to film and television and to, yes, music. And you can see her perform tomorrow night at Midnight Theater in Manhattan West. Manhattan West. Yes. Catherine Gallagher played Bella in Broadway's Jagged Little Pill. She was nominated for a Tony Award for her role and received a Grammy Award when the cast recording mm -hmm. won Best Musical Theater Album in 2021. She What's up? She's very busy. She has also had feature roles in the TV show You and the reboot of Gossip mm -hmm. Girl. She released several solo EPs of her own original music. I We're apparently also interior designers, the three of us. She is more interior designers. Catherine Gallagher joins us live. Hello and welcome Hi. to New York Living. Oh, thank you for having me. We were just, we had a lot of questions during your music video. Yes. Uh, was that your kitchen? That was my old kitchen. I've since moved. She's moving up in the world. Yes. Um, was that your moving unicorn and do you still have that unicorn? I still have the unicorn. <laughs> I still have the unicorn. As well you should. Everyone the needs a unicorn. Yes, I, I still have a doll from when I was like 10 years I old. I have a doll from the day I was born. Look at you, mm -hmm. Yippee. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. You are impressive. Yes, oh. you are. Writing your own music, Thank you. Missy. Thank you. Now, how long, has, how long have you been doing just that? I've been writing music since I was 11 years old. Oh, my God. That was sort of my very first favorite thing to do. So I would, like, run home after school and pull out my guitar, and um, I start, that's when it started. And who inspired you? Was it the world around you? I know you come from a family of performers. Did they influence you at all? Or I definitely have been performing since I was a little kid. When I grew up in, in the city, and so you know, I lived in an apartment building, and I would, in the lobby, I would just put on shows from when I was like three on for great. whoever would walk well, by. Also great acoustics. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. It I was really it. a useful. free show. <laughs> a free show. <laughs> and so then I think, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of folk music and a lot of blues. There was a lot of Bonnie Raitt. There was a lot of Carole oh. King and Janis oh. Joplin. And so, you know, I just, uh, I always wrote my own songs and wanted to be just like them. Oh, wow. Yeah. I could. L I'm, I want to just listen to. I know this. she's Amazing. a musical savant. She knows every genre, every lyric to yeah, every but I've song. I've not been writing songs. You haven't I been was... writing, but you can appreciate. You know, the breath of work. Uh, the, the the song we played in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It. I almost was like, is this Hillary Duff from <sighs> the um the the era where her where her movie came out? Like it's that kind of vibe. I mean. It's it's the you. So yesterday era. Yes. yes. <laughs> and I was like, what is yes. this? <laughs> Metamorphosis. Thank Everything you, is Stephanie. going my way. That I, I was mean, an incredible. Comparison. It's amazing, and that's just scratching. That's the tip yeah. of the iceberg with that's you because you just bit. released your new EP last mm -hmm. month called Demos Volume yes. Three. Mm -hmm. So how long was that project in the making? What was it like? So that one was really ones. fun because I actually, those were all old demos. So during the pandemic, I ended up releasing brand new demos yep. called Demos Volume 1 and 2. Okay. And then I had this song called Dear Little Girl that I wrote when I was 23 years old that fans of mine had sort of found and had, they kept asking me to put it out, but it was a very personal song and a hard one for me to sing, so I just assumed no one would ever hear it. And then I sort of, in the last year or so, got very nostalgic, and I was like, what am I waiting for? Right. So I put out all these demos, they're on my computer, and... Um, that was it. That was it. That was it. Yeah. I love it's always the song that you hold close mm -hmm. that resonates with so many people. It was a very special one to me. That's and, amazing. And in, and in doing it and, and in releasing it to the world, what sort of run of emotions were you going through? Because yeah. I, I, can't, I can't imagine. I know. It's very it's, vulnerable. It's very yeah. It's, it's sort of, um, it's a very similar topic to what my character went through in Jagged Little Pill. Mm. And so for me, it was sort of, I didn't want to put it out while I was doing that show because I was like, everyone's going to know I relate. Sure. Like, it was uh, too close. Yeah, yeah. And so I think I just felt very ready. And, you know, that's sort of the process of healing, I think, is to, you know, pass on what you've learned and, mm -hmm. and the things that have helped you and to anyone it might help. And, sure. and I would never have done it if, if, you know, the fans of mine hadn't told me how special sure. it was to them. yeah. So. Very well, we lucky. talk about. Thank uh, you for we, paying it forward. I was going <laughs> to say we talk about how music heals. It's very universal. Music and food. 
Yeah, Music that's true. Uh, wine, well, you got pepper wine in there as a well. Wine doesn't yeah, of course. Okay, we we mentioned you come from a, a family of yes. performers. Yes, yes, yes. One Peter Gallagher. Yes. Uh, who you call dad. Yes. Who you call dad. Big fan. But some people call Sandy Cohen. <laughs> I know, and, and honestly, Sandy Cohen is sort of everyone's father. So yes. I do. <laughs> You're right. I do feel like I share him. Right. <laughs> I do. That's right. So what is it, uh, what's that relationship like? Does he give you any pointers? Are you like, dad, I got this. You know, he gives me so many pointers. He's one of my best friends. He's Gosh, you just, look exactly like this crazy. picture. The I'm looking eyes. at this picture of the two of you. Oh. And I you love look, that photo. That's a fantastic, photo. We just that's went a very on a trip to photo. Ireland together, and so that was just from a couple weeks ago. Is we went to right? visit my cousins. Yeah. I was going to ask, do you have family there? It's so much. I really? mean, Catherine Gallagher. I was going to say, it's, it screams <laughs> Irish. It's screaming, it's screaming it's Irish. It's just everything about me really screams Ireland, so I, I love feel, it. feel very lucky. So you have this great relationship with your dad. Yeah, he's my best friend. Oh. Yeah, we're very similar, jarringly similar. <laughs> um, I've, I've unfortunately inherited all of his jokes. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> We both have like a real passion for hats um, in the worst way, like oh. the bucket hat situation, the Shit. visors, oh. you name it, we'll wear it. Sun protection, extremely important, especially with Irish. Oh, the Irish. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure the good folks of Ireland saw all sorts of hats. Oh, we were rocking rocked. some pretty cool ones. Is that right? Yeah, some pretty cool ones. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. I know, I should have sent those photos in, but. Uh, well, we'll have something to, for next this, time. I was gonna say, this <laughs> gonna have to come back. We'll do, a, we'll do yeah. a whole hat segment. segment. That's right. That's well, right. foreshadowing. All right, now we talked a little bit about your Broadway experience. Yes. There's a lot, I mean, there's always a lot out there. Now that Broadway's back, yes. baby, I love going to see shows again. Yes. Any shows that you are loving right now that you're dying to see that you're dying to be a part of? Oh my God, I, I want to be a part of everything. I'm actually yeah. workshopping a really cool play right <gasps> now um, with this playwright, C.A. Johnson, that I'm just a huge fan Excuse of. And you. I'm writing some music for that play. So that's sort of my week is just my whole brain is on this very exciting wow. play that I'm working on so that is is the thing I'm most looking forward to that I'd be involved in yes um but I just saw Gutenberg my friend Andrew Reynolds is oh. in that Gosh. it's brilliant it's genius. It's excellent. I laughed so hard and then by the end I was like moved to tears. Oh my god. So you gosh. have to see That's that. That's my favorite okay. kind of experience. Um, yeah. 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 Just theater is so powerful. I know Parade just closed but oh, that was one of the god. most powerful experiences sure. I've ever had in a theater and um, that was very important and yep, still is. Yeah, still is. Um, yeah, I just, those are those are top two for the those year for me. Those are top two. Yeah. yeah, those are top two. Very much so. You mentioned you grew up in New York City. I did. Do you have any old haunts, oh. any old places? That <laughs> She's like, do I oh, have old oh. haunts? Do you <laughs> have a favorite bodega cat? I mean, where where Who do doesn't? you like to eat? Where do you like to hang out? That's a wonderful question. <laughs> well, as a born and raised Upper West Sider, H and H bagels. That's I mean, don't be ridiculous. My bread and butter, right yeah. there. Yeah. Um, my bagel and cream cheese, dare I say? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Is that really? That's that your dad, dad joke. That's your dad you seeping out those dad jokes. It just happened. Like I right felt down. it happen. Um, <laughs> recently, I've been obsessed with this restaurant, Wild Air, and oh, yeah. there's this restaurant, Contra, yes. which is unreal. Um, I've been, I mean, of course, my local bodegas. I can't. Don't be ridiculous. Is, What's your order? What's your bacon, egg, and cheese? Uh, I mean, come on. You beat <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. What else do I love? I'm very, I'm like a pick up a coffee and walk on Riverside Park, like watch the sunset by the water like that's my dead rabbit is one of my favorite pubs oh my um God. speaking of best guinness in new york oh, um, like a good irish girl of, okay. she, has to, she has to plug um, the guinness corner bistro like oh this my goes God, on the yeah, yeah. i dated the bartender from the corner bistro no. a thousand years ago. congratulations no I got it, 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 i'm it so ended sorry poorly. it ended very poorly but it, but it ended up well because i love congratulations I love on your engagement oh well thank you dr it Linda, didn't even they tell all lander all the boyfriends led her to you You've named all the institutions. You know, I try to. Yeah. I really try and try everything. I try and try. Yeah. We gotta try to try. You know? We gotta try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, this is it's great. It's just so dark. Um, but you know, you gotta try everything, and yeah. so I I feel confident about my. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to go back and watch this and write everything down. I'm I'll make you a list. Because I'm just so enthralled by she just you curate. in general. I'm like She'll listening and I'm not processing. Yeah. They're great. I'm gonna slide into your DMs for Do all the it. recommendations. Done. We'll go for a stroll. Yes. Done. Down the. Uh, Who cuts your hair? This is gorgeous. Oh. Is it so, also on the Upper West Side? No. no. Marie Robinson, my friend Annie over Thanks. Marie Robinson, and then this, Annie, we're coming for and you. And then my my hairstylist Mark Mena um, gave me this like shag when I love we it. were in Paris for Fashion Week, which I can't even believe is a sentence that just came out of my mouth. Yes. I feel un yes, unworthy. Yes, Catherine um, Gallagher, you go to all the big shows. She's every woman it was right crazy. here. crazy. Yes. You Acme have a was Grammy. Lucky to take You've been me nominated in. for a Tony. There's so many other places for you to go. I just crazy. remember to come back here, please. Oh. When you I finish that new show you're working on, okay? Done. Come right back. Will I see you guys tomorrow night at Midnight Theater? She will be asleep. Great. 
I'll I turn into a pumpkin at the time. <laughs> Tell me the guy's name at the door and I'll yeah. be there. Done. You can see Catherine Gallagher <laughs> perform tomorrow night at Midnight Theater in Manhattan West. Manhattan West, by the way, is the neighborhood over by Hudson, Hudson Yards. Yards. All the way, Marisol all the way on that Marisol learned something new today. I learned something new every day watching every this day. show. For information, tickets, visit todaytix.com. That's right.